same age, 31 years old. Uh, Cruz, three inches in height. The weight, pound and a quarter in favor of Cloudy, and the reach, four inches for Josh Cloudy. And that is the ITT Technical Institute tail of the tape as we get ready here in Brooklyn, New York, our yeah, first fight, fight of the rules, night. Uh, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight, and neither fighter can be saved by the bell in any round. Ready for Cloudy and Cruz will go up to ring announcer Joe Antonacci. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Arum's top rank and final forum promotions present live from the Aviator Sports Arena in Brooklyn, New York, fight night on Versus. Tonight's bouts are sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Ron Scott Stevens, the chairman, Ralph Petrillo, our director of boxing, and our timekeeper at the bell, Yvonne Williams. Boxing fans, this bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of action in the junior middleweight division. Our judges for this bout, Ron McNair, John Signorelli, and Robin Taylor. And our referee, Ricky Gonzalez. Now boxing fans introducing first in the blue corner. He comes to us tonight all the way from Mazatlan, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at 150 and three quarter pounds. Black trunks, gold trim. Excellent professional record, 36 victories, only three defeats and two draws. Please welcome Jose Luis Chalene Cruz. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from the Bronx in New York City. He weighed in at 152 pounds, black trunks, red trim. Professional record, 33 victories, only two defeats, 20 knockouts. He is the IBF number one welterweight contender in the world, Joshua Hitterklotti. <laughs> Referee Ricky Gonzalez has our instructions. Okay, I already gave you your instructions in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times and obey my commands at all times. Your trunks are good there. Anything below that line will be considered low. Ya yo te di los instrucciones, neta marino. Protejase y siempre obedeces mis órdenes. Aquí está bien. Toca guantes. Thanks, Sam Wally. Claudie, not absolutely a home run hitter by any means, but he really has determination. I talked to him yesterday about focus and, you know, how disappointed not to be fighting for the title when you want a title eliminator here on Versus. He said, it, it, I, I honestly felt that and believed it, that absolute focus is why he's just looking at the guy in front of him. And he, the way he was looking at him here, I just have a feeling he could be getting him out of there. Not necessarily first round, but maybe well, a stop. That would be good, but he is a volume puncher. You're right when you say, you know, he's not a home run hitter. He overwhelms guys with the volume of punches that he throws. He's an attrition guy. He'll wear you down, but he has not really shown the one punch KO power at this level. I want to see what Cruz does. He's a guy who says, I'm a typical Mexican fighter, meaning I'll stand and slug bury that left hook, which he's done, but it looks a little awkward to me. And if Claudia could back him up a little bit, I think he'll be in trouble. Well, the other thing is, you know, already he's shown a tendency to leave himself wide open with some swings there. And uh, one thing about Claudia, he's a pretty good counter puncher and a short puncher. He really is. He looked so much stronger than Shimon Alvarez on their last fight, the uh, December fight. And no, he beat, just over previously over. Yeah, he over overwhelmed an undefeated guy. And now Cruz will see if he can, wants to hang and slug with this guy or too much problems to make it an inside fight. But he can also see that there is a hand speed difference and uh, I don't need to tell you which one is quicker. Yeah, one thing about Cruz, he is 31 uh, as, as Claudia is, but Cruz, uh, you hit on Wally earlier, all three losses, he went the distance though against quality. So I'm sort of shooting my argument that uh, he could be stopped here. Went the distance last year against Alvarez, not a big hitter. 
Mays in 06 against Sean Bay Mitchell, not a powerful puncher. And then in 05 against Shane Mosley, a very big deal. Yeah, and I mean, Shane can punch. There's no doubt about that. So he's durable. We're talking about a durable guy here. And if Clyde can get him out, yeah. that would be a pretty good accomplishment. Punch, punch. I'm with you. Left hand by Claudia, and now inside, uh, Cruz buries that right hand, so pretty good infighting from him. <laughs> but you know, claudia has been looking for that because that's the punch. The left hand is the one that Cruz leaves himself open with, and it's right there for Claudia's right. Break, break, yeah, break. you know, Cruz, a uh, much taller guy. claudia has got the reach on him. It just looks like Cruz is a guy who's who fights tall and it's hard to believe Claudia looks like he's lunging in at times well, I think uh, Claudia just took a couple inches off him with that yeah. left body now Cruz inside hanging around trying to shove off Claudia Claudia comes in behind the right tries the left hook and misses Claudia very tight defensive Ooh. package and then that left hook to that the was, body that was a little low that was that was to the body but I think an illegal part Half minute to go in the first round. Ricky Gonzalez, referee, nice right hand, partially off balance was Diaz. Didn't look like it rocked him, but that left hand, sweeping left hand from Plotty, has Cruz backing up. Full retreat now. Cruz is a very awkward and kind of true guy, you know, not, not a lot of skill there, yeah. but uh, I think he's a hard rock. Looks a little wild. Plotty with a pretty good first round as we finish one here in Brooklyn. Are you in nasty drafts forcing you to crank up the heat? Heating bills are reported to increase dramatically, causing your money to literally fly out the door. With All right, watch so a little damage here by Claudia, and you see that basically Cruz off balance. He's an awkward guy, man, does not have the best balance. Well, let's watch his feet here. Why is that, Molly? What's he doing wrong? Is he overreaching at times? It doesn't look like it to me. It's right there. He actually crossed his feet as he, as he slipped to the side, which is a, a no-no, but that was Mexican style coming out in him as he indicated. So let's see if he'll stand and trade. Claudia did back him up there with the right as you show as we saw the replay. But he's standing and he's gonna fight with him. But now he's backing up, trying to work off the jab. Claudia walks right through it. Claudia barrels a left hook to the head. Left and then the right. Not much on that left, but the right follow up landed to the body. You see there the punches landed in round one. I just want to point one thing out. You know, Claudia's usually a pretty fast starter, but I thought he was a little slow starting in this first round, and uh, the numbers bear that out. 15 of his 22 connects came in the last minute of the round, so the awkwardness of Cruz might be confusing Claudia a little bit, although I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker for him here. It's hard to know how much of a whack uh, Cruz has. He has been connecting to the body, but uh, it hasn't stopped Joshua Claudia in his tracks. By the numbers, you know, he can hit a little bit. 29 KOs and 36 wins. Now, of course, the best way to judge the quality of a guy's punch is who is he knocked out, and most of the names that he's knocked out you would not recognize. Well, went the distance, went back to Mexico after they lost to Alvarez. Last two fights, though, fought at 160. So, yeah, he feels he's a strong guy at 47. Why he ballooned up, the, that indicates to me a lack of uh, condition. Actually, now he's just taking free shots. Claudia just cover up. He is a strong guy, and uh, he's landed pretty well to the body in this uh, this round. And it seems to me like Claudia's having a little trouble just figuring this guy out. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, Wally. Claudia uncharacteristically a lot of lunging, tapping with that left hand. Now we see a cut on Cruz. 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 And Ricky Gonzalez, the referee, had warned them. Watch the head. That's a cut top splits uh, right at the hairline. Middle of the forehead, dripping down the middle, so not impairing any vision right, yet. Right, up on, up on. But it could be a problem. The doctor will take a big look. It's going to make it very difficult for him to get a haircut. <laughs> There's that right cross by uh, right, right. Claudia. Claudia's a real strong guy. And he'll muscle in close there on the clinches, like here. Well, this is where they get into trouble. They're both strong guys. They both like to fight on the inside, and the heads came together a couple of times, and they just did again. Oh, nice left hand as Johnny, and that hurt. Cruz, Jose Luis Cruz backing up now. Full of fight. He'll get out of this round, but Claudia opens up the attack here, closing out the second round. Time, time, time. Yes. Referee. 
right, I think we're going to get a look at the headbutt here, where that's right there where the, the cut was caused. It was ruled an accidental butt by the referee. Referee Ricky Gonzalez confirmed with our cameras picked up perfectly. Right. So stop, that stop, stop. tells Watch us. Head, well, if the fight right. stops within four rounds because of that, it'll be a technical draw. After that, it'll go to the scorecards. So Cruz behind in this fight probably could be a factor. We're in the third. Claudi has not looked overwhelming by any means. Now he's stepping it up offensively, it seems. But Cruz full of fight. He's come here to win, not to survive. Claudi trying to let his hands go, but not doing a very good job of it. Really selectively picking his punches. And Wally, I got to tell you, I know that he could fight all night. And I don't see him fading a lot in fights, but I don't, I don't think he's fighting with enough intensity now. No, I think he's taking his time. Well, he's a little locked up, and I think it has to do with the uh, the awkwardness. Oh, boy, that was a lightning <laughs> quick <laughs> counter right by Cloudy. But I think it has a lot to do with the awkwardness of Cruz. I think he's had some trouble figuring him out. Break, 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 but certainly break, break, the better, cleaner, more effective punches so far come from Cloudy. You know, that sort of tells you that Cloudy fights at one speed, though. That's sort of detriment to me because I don't think Cruz is that tricky. I think he comes in straight and he's very squared up and if Claudia gives him a little movement and steps it aside and there should be openings all night you know it always looks different to us than it does to the guy in there and there could very well be something about Cruz's style it's just causing Claudia to be a little bit hesitant to pull yeah. the trigger tried that lead right he's trying to run down Cruz and run over him but he's forgotten about the jab now Cruz is a big guy, isn't he? He certainly is, and that was low low. way low. Okay? You okay? You need time? Come on, guys. Sounds good. Sounds good. Keep it clean. Boy, the African warrior wants none of that. No time. time. They take no time. None of these guys ever take no. time. A little bit. He thing. didn't take three seconds. No, he didn't. I'm surprised he hasn't landed his own yet. Blood smeared around the face of Jose Luis Cruz as a result of that headbutt. It was accidental. Oh, nice left on the way out by Claudia. And Claudia now tries to gun him down with a right. All power punches from Claudia. He's not jabbing anymore. And Cruz says, bring it on, baby. And you know what? Claudia came in and held on. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I can't imagine that he's tired at this point, but I think he may have been worried about getting nailed by something coming in. Huh? Yeah. He looks like he's trying to figure out and let Cruz go first. A lot of posing from Claudia. So he's waiting for Cruz to make a move, and Cruz gives him, gives him a little shake, rattle, roll type of thing, but not throwing a punch. What a boring last 20 seconds that was. As we go to the corners, blue corner, you look at Jose Luis Cruz and look at the forehead and see the work on that cut. That's a tough place to stop a cut, too. You can't really squeeze it together the way you can with an eyelid or an eyebrow. Well, Jesus uh, Zapari, his new trainer, also the cut man, we see. So now, you know, I don't think that's a great idea if you've got a double duty that way. He's attending the cut, and you can't give him any instructions. You don't got no room for left hook. You're on outside. Right, boom, left, okay? All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, third round action. There's that low blow, and that, and that certainly hurt Josh Clotty. But here's how he uh, responded. Rather than taking any rest, he came back with his right hand, followed by a left hook. Left hook, probably the best punch he threw in that round. That was beautiful, beautiful right. Man, Cruz, first one off the stool. But let's see what he can do technically, Wally. Besides being awkward, you know, he doesn't look technically sound to me. No, he's very unsound, and I, I think we pointed that out earlier. I mean, his balance is bad. He crosses his feet. You see, he puts one foot behind the other. See, that is, you know, very slow hands, in my opinion. Yeah, he's, he's slow-handed, but he is durable, and he does... Uh, ooh, he just caught a left hook. Well, he's been durable, but let's see. He's saying, uh, once again, he wants Claudi to come to him. Claudi with that full extension of that right hand, and he buried it home to the face. Cruz is heavy-handed, though, especially to the body. I think that's where Claudia's yeah. felt. But I just don't feel he knows how to fight coming forward and certainly coming backwards. Always an issue. Look oh, at the other thing. Make the fight. Yeah, we, we were talking about, you know, the, the last 20 seconds of the last right, round, right. Nick. I mean, come back, come obviously, Claudia wants Cruz to leave because he knows he's much faster and he wants to counter him. But, you know, it also makes you wonder why isn't he taking a little bit more of the initiative here? 
Yeah, well, maybe that low blow, you know, was the uh, macho thing I don't want to take any time, so maybe he needed a little bit of a rest. Ooh. Nice left hook from Clotty. And Clotty just waiting, trying to line him up and measure him. Break, break, break. I'm not sure what Cruz is trying to accomplish. You take a look at the online poll there. You can see they got it the way I got it. You know, three, three to one, uh, three nothing for Clotty. I, you know, I can't give Cruz a round yet. But I mean, Cruz right now is winning the battle of, of Macho Showdown, I guess. You know, because he's basically letting Clotty hit him. But he's certainly I think, look. There yeah, it goes again. I think the easy prediction is uh, that he's not going to win a round. Not like this. Is I not. think Plotty's a, obviously the much superior fighter. He's in everybody's top ten for a reason. And this should be a glide. But even though it's only the fourth round, Wally, and this guy is durable, you hit it first on the head. I, I would like to see Plotty get a stoppage to really make a statement and put himself on the map. I know he's ranked a lot of organizations, but... I want you know, people to talk about him. I really want to see this guy again. Yeah, well, it's really hard to knock a guy out when the other guy won't take any chances. And right now, Cruz is not taking a lot of chances. Good point. You know, it's one thing to stand there and let the other guy hit you, and you can prepare yourself for the impact wait, 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 wait. and maybe block it a little bit. But this guy, you have to take chances. The way guys get knocked out is by getting hit when they're punching. Getting hit with a shot they don't see coming. He's not. That's not going to happen with Cruz. Well, Cloudy, I think, is just content to win every round, and he's doing it convincingly. And if it goes 10, it goes 10. Not the worst thing in the world. But. Well, just look at his fight by fight. I mean, his last half dozen fights have all gone the distance. It's become a pattern with Josh Clark. Yeah. And his only other loss, he was DQ'd against Caldo, uh, Carlos Baldomir and leading on the cards in that one. And the legitimate loss to Margarito with a hand injury early as he faded. Side in Brooklyn, time, Nick time. Charles, Wally Matthews. They want neutral corner action. Doctor taking a Good. look at okay. Jose Luis yeah. Cruz. Yeah. And now we'll restart round five. Instructions in the corner. Claudia, they want him working off that jab, but combination. Pretty typical stuff. Jab right hand and follow with the left hook. That's always a desirable pattern. It'd be wonderful if every fighter did that. <laughs> That's called the ABC School of Boxing. Um, Cruz is really pushing his punches tonight. He's really not very busy. And this is why we have our, our gentleman from CompuBox with us to give us things like this. Now, Cruz only threw 22 punches in round four. He averaged 70 around when he lost to Shane Mosley a couple of years ago. Man. So he was a different That's fighter. That's telling statistic. But then again, Shane Mosley is, works at a lot higher you know, rate of speed than, uh, than Josh Clark. So he'd force him to fight, yeah. Force him to fight more. But how do you win a fight if you're not throwing any shots? It's that simple. Right hand, good right hands from uh, Cruz, but he's really not getting any leverage on those shots, and he gets clipped in the way and, from, and with, with return fire from Plotty. And the only place he can really land so far is to the body. He's done okay, but he, you know, Josh Plotty is as hard as a rock. Oh, straight right hand. I think that hurt Cruz as yeah. he ties up. I mean, you're not really going to hurt Josh Plotty to the body, especially if you're not making it work at a high rate of speed here. There's no, there's no pressure on Plotty. There's no reason for him to get tired. He's fighting at whatever pace he wants to fight. Yeah, you know, it's, it goes to the argument, and you you make a better point than I would. That's just the way Claudio fights, you know, and, I, and he does fight the same every it's round. Pace, and that's but, great, but, uh, but you the know. thing is, he dictates his pace. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he yeah, nobody, of course, pace. Pace. Yeah, he's able to control. Uh, he slows down the game. Control the fight. The heads. Claudio coming in, not throwing a jab at all, as the corner wanted. So he's just waiting to. Well, he's not doing anything here, I mean, and Cruz is not making him pay at all. But just to expand on that point, I mean, you know, for our purposes, for the fans' purposes, you'd like guys to win a certain way, all right? You do give style points as a boxing fan. To the boxer, all he cares about is winning. You know, and this is the way Josh Clotty wins. He's going to get his title shot, that's true. A uh, couple of wow. scenarios, and it all is predicated on next week, actually, in Atlantic City, if... Uh, if Alfonso Gomez would have beat Miguel Cotto, yeah, Claudio would fight chance. Gomez. I know if, if, if. But uh, the second scenario, more likely, if uh, Cotto beats Gomez, Claudio fights the Cintron Margarito winner for the IBF belt. Oh, well, he may get a, a second shot at Margarito. Let's see if that first one was a fluke. That's it. 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 That
That's well, it. That was a quick. That was a quick. That's look. it. He was still. He, the fight? he was still throwing back. It's. It'll be interesting. But he's not even bleeding. Let me. What was that all about? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get a little bit more. A little try to get a clarification from the referee I now. I don't understand why that fight was stopped. Cruz doesn't understand why it was stopped. Well, we've asked. I don't think Ronnie understands Gonzales, why it was stopped. He's going to the judges right now. But uh, the referee uh, has failed to uh, answer us as to why. You can see the um, the commissioner, the yeah, yeah, state boxing commissioner, Ron Stevens, is looking in uh, to the referee to find out exactly what was going on there. So, easy win uh, for Josh Clotty. We'll assess it in a moment, but a very confusing stoppage in our opinion. Absolutely. I mean, look, Clotty's pitching a shutout, no doubt about that, but you don't take away a guy's chance to win the fight, which is what he did. He basically robbed Cruz of any chance of turning this thing around, however slim it might have been. See exactly. See if we can see it through Ricky Gutierrez's eyes here. It's a little bit earlier in the round. You see that Claudio's doing some damage. A lot of those punches are glancing off. Now you see, actually, there was a, a forearm to the throat, a good right hand. Well, he isn't punching back. He's not. Nah, nah. Come on. Now that's not the end of the fight. Here's the end of the fight. Wally uh, left hook. Ricky Gonzalez said that the, it was just an accumulation of punches. Uh, now, you know, that's debatable whether a guy has to be punching back. And really, in fairness to the referee, we didn't see Cruz doing anything except walking into shots. Yeah, but you don't stop the fight because of that. Well, he did. He wasn't uh, hurt. Here it comes. And I think Josh Clotty was as surprised as anybody in the building. Let's get the official word from Joe Antonacci now. Boxing fans, the time, two minutes and 48 seconds of round number five. Your winner by technical knockout from the Bronx in New York City, Joshua.